Miss Colorado will make history this weekend as the first active duty Air Force officer to compete in the Miss America pageant. Ahead of the big showcase, Miss Colorado, Madison Marsh joins us now. Madison, thanks for being here. So I've known a lot of people on active duty. I've never known a uh, fighter pilot who's also vying for the Miss America crown. Is the military cool with this? I mean, are they, uh, they must be. They've been so supportive. So those clips of me in the fighter plane, I was not the pilot. I had an amazing F-16 pilot up front who's a female. Um, so I'm a pilot select right now, just graduated from the Air Force Academy, and everyone has been so, so excited to get to have me here. Uh, Pete, would you read Madison's? Okay. Well, yeah, we were doing some research on this. Madison, so go all right. In addition to all of this stuff, uh, you're a National Truman Scholar, two-time National Astronaut Scholar, eight-time Dean's List at the Air Force, three-time Superintendent's List, a National Roads Finalist, certified private pilot, uh, and a black belt in Taekwondo, and you're also a graduate of the Kennedy School at, at uh, Harvard. So how, do so, first, so how do first dates go? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I mean, no, seriously, though, no, Matt, that's intimidating. I mean, I, you're, you're going to take Madison out, and what, what, you have nothing. You have nothing to brag about mm -mm. with Madison. Uh, in, in addition to that, I assume, you, you know, there's a talent on display, because this is Miss America, where you got to get up on stage, and it looked like earlier you, you sing. So I do a, basically a monologue. So it's called a Her Story at the Miss America Opportunity, and I give a speech on my very first solo flight at the age of 16. Because I started wow. flying around 15. Um, that's whenever I kind of fell in love with the Air Force Academy and the idea of serving. And so I walked through what that flight looks like and some of the things that went wrong and how they relate to me today as a leader and an officer and kind of how that goes into pageantry as well. So it's a little bit of a different, non-conventional talent, to say the least. Interesting. So when you compete in Miss America, you have to be on your toes. Literally, they ask you questions. You don't know what it's going to be. I'm going to try this out for you. Oh. What is a woman? You know, serving to me, being a woman in the military is all what you make of it. And for me, that's been being able to do both. That means representing my mom, who I lost to pancreatic cancer, and living through her life because I get to live even though she doesn't. And so that means for me being a leader in the military, being a leader in pageantry and breaking those stereotypes for young women all around the world. And I really think that you as a woman have to define that for yourself. And I feel so excited and comfortable in my role as Miss Colorado and Second Lieutenant Marsh. Well, best of luck. Second, Second Lieutenant of Marsh. Uh, first active duty officer competing in Miss America. Very, Very cool. cool. Good Thank luck. You. Keep us posted. We're rooting for you. Yeah. Thanks, Thank Madison. you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me on this morning. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.